Welcome to all of the students of our Lord and Savior, our soon coming King, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Yeshua the Christ. Was your minds blown the other night? Was your minds blown the other night? Put up those faces if uh, your minds were indeed blown. And as we go forth tonight, I promise you, God willing, I won't be with you for three or four hours. So um, the Lord told me to take it easy on, on everyone tonight. And But God has given me another revelation. And so three things that I need every one of you to have. Number one, please have the greatest weapon in history, the gospel that Christ taught. Uh, the King James interpretation. If you don't have the physical King James version, then you must at least have the electronic version. If the moderators can put up, thank you, Pastor uh, Ellis Ewing, uh, King James Bible Online, King James Bible Online, because it is critically important for every one of you to follow along because if not, you'll be blocked. That's number one. Number two, make sure you have two to three pens. And then number three, make sure you have a large notebook. Uh, today was a blessed day for the bishop. Uh, had the opportunity to be on two podcasts. Today, um, one out of um, Brussels, Belgium, for the first time uh, through the Christ Embassy Network with Pastor Chris. Uh, the brothers out of Nigeria, but one uh, of their branch pastors wanted me to come on today. And uh, so I had taught their pastors in that area, uh, that apostolic area of Brussels, Belgium. The second uh, podcast I'm just now wrapping up, praise God, uh, was out of London, England. All right. And it's late over there right now. But I am very excited to be with you guys here tonight. And I wish to invite your attention tonight. Great to see all of you, Pastor Kofi, Pastor Chris, uh, Pastor Sam, great to see you. Uh, Pastor Ellis Ewing, Pastor Colleen, and Pastor Tierra Bree, my beautiful daughter from the state, great state of North Carolina. Great to see you guys. Uh, Pastor Rita, great to see you. I am so happy to see every one of you here tonight. I wish to invite your attention back to the book of the beginnings called the Genesis, also called the genetics of God. Great to see you, Pastor Emma, my daughter, Pastor Colleen, all you guys, Pastor Jody Bird, are you with us, sir? Uh, great to see you if you are in the class tonight. Uh, Big Rob X, great to see you, mighty, mighty man of God, Pastor Sippy. Uh, my powerful and anointed daughter, Pastor Sippy, uh, who has a powerful ministry. And you guys get a chance to check out her Instagram page. I mean, she puts up um, little snippets of the bishop's teachings and powerful. Pastor Rick, great to see you, my son, in Christ. Uh, Pastor True Witness Ministries, great to see you, uh, all of you guys. All right, Genesis, um, we're going to go back to chapter 32, and we're going to begin in verse number one. I want to thank God for Pastor Colleen sending me some powerful information about the Mossad. If you thought the other night was mind blowing. I'm telling you, you have not seen anything yet. Pastor Leslie, great to see you. Uh, my sister in Christ and my daughter in Christ, holy name. Genesis chapter 32, verse one. And let's drop down to verse number 28, downward to verse 31. So that is the book of the genetics of God called the Genesis. Chapter 32, verse 1, dropping down to verses 28 to 31. Uh, our 
key verse tonight. And the Lord just spoke to me about going to Genesis 2 and 7 uh, just now. Uh, that would be the first key verse. And our second key verse tonight will come out of the Acts of the Apostles, better known as the Acts of the Holy Spirit, chapter 8, verse 28. All right, Genesis chapter 32, verse 1. Drop it down to verses 28 to 31. Then I need you to matriculate back to Genesis 2 and 7. That will be part A of our key verse. And the second part of our key verse, part B, uh, will be out of the book of the Acts of the Apostles better known as the Acts of the Holy Spirit, chapter 8, verse 28. Pray for the bishop tonight. All right, Genesis chapter 32, verse number 1. Hear ye the word of the Lord. And Jacob, or Yaqub, went on his way. His way. His way. And the angels of God, the angelic government of God, met him. Dropping down to verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Yaqub or trickster or supplanter Jacob, but Israel. In the Western Hemisphere, we've been taught to call Israel, Israel. But in the Eastern Theological Hemisphere, they don't say the term Israel. Scholars say this term, Israel. But Israel, for as a prince or principality, Hast thou power with God and with men and has prevailed? Pastor Tierra, you just blew my mind. I ill. Remember the series Antarctica, the cell of the fallen angels. I Real. Verse 28, and Jacob or Yaqub asked and said, tell me, this is where you get the rabbinical interpretation of Tel Aviv or Tel Aviv. Tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob or Yaakov called the name of the place Pineal, meaning insight of understanding. For I have seen God face to face. That term face doesn't necessarily mean countenance. It means I have seen God's nature that exposed my nature face to face. And my life is pre-served. And as he passed over pin UL, that's interesting. So we go from pin IL in verse 30 to pin UL in verse 31. God is exposing the nature of the trickster. The sun or rose upon me is actually the greater light. And he halted upon his thigh. 
Well, I feel an anointing here tonight. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Hear ye the word of the Lord this evening. And the Lord God formed, not created, formed, not made, formed man, not man, woman, but man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man not man woman man not he she but man became a living thought or a living paradigm of thinking called the soul. You cannot become a son of God, John 1, unless you first became a living soul, Genesis 2 and 7. Once you become, once you became a living soul, Genesis 2 and 7, then you can properly become apostolically a son of God and a woman of God, women of God. All right. Now, from there, matriculate going forward to 4,000 years from Genesis 2 and 7, to the book of the Acts of the Apostles, better known as the Acts of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter number eight, verse number 26. Acts chapter eight, verse 26. Hear ye the word of the Lord. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip the evangelist, one of the twelve apostles, Saint Philip, saying, Arise or a rise, a apostolic rise. Arise and go toward the south unto the way which goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, the Gaza Strip, which is desert. Let's read that scripture again. That's a powerful paradigm in Acts 8.26. And the angel of the Lord spake unto St. Philip, saying, Arise. You have to rise consciously before you can rise physically. Arise and go toward the south. Unto the way which goeth down from Jerusalem, unto Gaza, or Gaza, the body, which is desert. In order to align the body, according to the alignment of God's word, this first must be aligned with Christ. Once this is aligned with Christ, this will follow. All right, go back to the book of the beginnings called the Genesis. Go back 4,000 years from Acts 8.26 to Genesis chapter 32, verse number one. Let's lay apostolic foundation 
concerning Operation Mockingbird, how to kill a mockingbird. Great to see you, Pastor, Pastor Richie Morgan, my son. Operation Mockingbird, how to kill a mockingbird, module one, volume one. From Genesis 1 and 3 to Genesis chapter 3 verse 6 is a contracted period of 13.5 billion years or 135 million centuries. Again, from Genesis 1 and 3 to Genesis 3 and 6 is a protracted period of 13.5 billion years or 135 million centuries. And from Genesis 3 and 6, the fall of man to 2024 today. No, I did not misspeak. I said 2024. This is actually 2024. If you're going to count year one as the year 2000, the beginning of the 21st century, when in actuality we're in the 22nd century. So you count the year 2000 as year one to tonight, it's not 2023. It is 2024. Then from the fall of man in Genesis 3 and 6 to tonight in 2024 is 6,000 years or 60 centuries. A child is shaped like the number six in the womb of the woman. The number six is a number of man's fallen state. And the reason why a child is shaped like the number six in the womb for nine months, that is indicative of a prenatal position where the serpent had but broken the woman. Great to see you, Pastor Jody Bird. The serpent had Mendenhall the woman. And for those of you who are new to this class, the term Mendenhall is actually a Persian term, meaning one who is but broken. When you go to the Urban Dictionary and type in once you get to the Urban Dictionary, Mendenhall, Men Den Hall, to mount up someone from behind while he or she is in a fetal position on the ground. After the deed is complete, you roll them over and see the humiliation in their eyes. A Mendenhall position is a prenatal position of number six. That's why every child since the fall of man in Genesis 
chapter 3, verse 6, to tonight is matriculating in the womb of its mother in the form of a number six. You've been taught that Adam was created on day six. That is not true. Adam was not created on day six. This Adam in Genesis 2 is formed on day seven. Well, Bishop, is there scriptural reference to this? Absolutely yes, because in the book of Genesis, Chapter 2, verse 2, 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. And on the seventh day, God ended his apostolic work, which he had made. And God rested, and he, God, rested on the seventh day. Well, whom did God rest on? Drop down to verse 7. In verse 7, 27 books of the New Testament, when God needed to Redesign man by forming him. This Adam in Genesis 2 and 7 was formed on day 7, not day 6 of the previous chapter of Genesis 1 26 and 127. This is a radical movement called Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group. Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group, New York, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, New York. We are not a Protestant organization. We are not evangelicals or Protestants. We are not the offspring of the Vatican. We are the offspring of Yeshua the Christ, born apostolically in Acts 2. So in Genesis 2 and 7 is actually day 7, which means this Adam was not created. There's a great distinction between creation versus formation. The first Adam is Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The term earth in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 means the ality of origination. That's the first Adam who had no flesh, no weight, no brain, no physical heart, no high blood pressure, no mass, no weight, no height. This Adam in verse one through the composition of the term earth, is ageless. So you don't say the term reality. Reality is a fallen state of ality. Ality means origination before origination, which means you are older 
than time. You are older than Lucifer. You are older than the angelic government of the heavens. You are older than the heavens. You are older than the counterfeit heaven called hell. And you're even older than demons. Who you are can never be destroyed. Who you are can never be altered. And who you are can never change. What you are will go into that casket. But who you are can never be embalmed. Who you are in Christ can never go six feet under. Better to be judged by 12 than to be carried by six. Operation Mockingbird. So the verse Adam is the earth in Genesis 1 and 1 where we were supernatural spirit. The second Adam, I know this is radical, is in Genesis 1, 26 and 27. Let us make man. Who is us? The apostolic government of Ephesians 4, 11. So God is asking not just the angelic kingdom in Genesis 1, 26, but he's asking the apostolic church of Ephesians 4 and 11, and he's asking who you are as Genesis 1 and 1, let us Make man, not a homosexual man, not a lesbian man, not a, not a LGBTQRITUVWXYZ. Let us make alpha. He didn't say, let us make beta. Let us make man in our image. Whose image? Not only the image of God first, but who you are is also created in the image of the angelic government of unfalling angels. Thank you, Pastor Sippy. Let us make man in the image of Christ, in the image of the unfallen angels, the angelic government of Christ. And certainly let us make man apostolically of Ephesians 4 and 11. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. Out of the fivefold apostolic government of Christ in Ephesians 4 and 11, the only office that does not say and, some is the teacher. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, but Paul did not say and some teachers. 
That's wisdom. Paul said, and teachers, which means that the first four offices must have the ability to teach. So I'm not here to preach. You have to stop saying preach, Bishop. I'm not here preaching every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm here apostolically teaching you from the inside out instruction through construction from the outside in. Operation Mockingbird. Thank you, Pastor Williams. So the second man is created in God's image because in Genesis 1.27, so God, stop right there. In verse 26, why would God say, let us? There is not another God. In the beginning, God created that destroys polytheism the teaching of more than one God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. So we go from let us to verse 27, so God. We are the manifestation of God's nature on the earth. You're not God, but you represent the incarnation of God's nature, not the nature of an organization, not the nature of a trustee board or a board of apostles and bishops. Eight billion people are created with the God nature in them. No, you're not God, but you become the manifestation of his nature. So we go from let us make man to so God created man. The apostolic fivefold of Ephesians 4 and 11 is the manifestation of God's nature. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Can I take my time? Sisters you were not created in the image of God. The man is created in the image of God. The woman is created in the image of the man who's created in the image of God. Now look at the scripture. God created he, him, not he, she, or he, she. God created he, him. Then male and female created he, them. So God establishes the man apostolically as the manifestation of God's nature. Thank you, Pastor Sippy and Pastor Letitia. While the woman is designed and created not in God's image, but in the image of the man who is designed and created in the image of God. This destroys Operation Mockingbird. Here comes the third man, the Adam of Genesis 2. I know that you've been taught 
that Paul had taught us in first and second Corinthians that Christ is the second man. Well, the Vatican inserted that doctrine because when the Vatican extracted a 45 degree angle of God's thinking, 45 canonical books, canonical books or documents during the 325 AD conference in Nicene, Turkey, where the Vatican took out 25, and then centuries later in 1540, the Jesuit Seeker Society removed the remaining 20. So they just said, okay, Christ is the second Adam. The first Adam, Genesis 1 and 1, this is in the 45 missing books. You see, when these demons extract a 45 degree angle of God's thinking, then they have to insert additional doctrines that's not of God to fill in the gaps of what was left because they took out a 45 degree angle of God's thinking. Genesis 1 and 1, first man. Genesis 1, 26 and 27, second man. The third man is the Adam of Genesis 2 and 7. You and I are day seven. So you and I were formed and designed in day seven. You see, Pastor Shawana, there's many levels of this deception. So Adam, the Adam of Genesis 2, is a day seven formation. Formation means a offspring of its origination as creation of Genesis 1 and 1 and Genesis 1, 26 and 1, 27. I am destroying Operation Mockingbird tonight. Every man that was born in time is designed by God as an Adam for his generation. Every Adam, so we had 117.5 billion people that were born in history since Genesis 3. Now we're down to 8 billion. Half of the 117.5 billion were men. So the man is the Adam of his generation. Adam, ladies and gentlemen, is not a name. It's not the first, middle, and last name. Adam is a mindset, which means the activation of his assignment. So in Genesis 2 and 7, God breathed into this third Adam, not bacteria, not viruses, not a homosexual spirit, not a lesbian spirit, not a LGBTQIA spirit. God breathed himself into himself, never needing to leave himself to become himself and never needing anyone to affirm or confirm who he is. God is God by himself. So the Adam of Genesis 2 and 7 is the first apostolic capital. Hmm. I'm getting the Gaza. Adam of, two, of Genesis 2 and 7 
is the first apostolic capital of God's thinking. Adam was omnipresent. As God is, so was Adam. Adam did not have a height, a weight. Adam did not have fingers. Adam did not have a mouth, a tongue, or legs. He was supernatural spirit. So the term dust rabbinically means spiritual particles. The dust of the ground means that Adam is the God particle. Who you are, you are the God particle. You're not God, but you are a design of God's nature, which destroys Operation Mockingbird. So, 6,000 years have expired or 60 centuries. The first letter of Adam's design is capital A, A rise. The last letter of Adam's nature is M. So Adam was formed and designed by God as the A.M. of the first half of the day. His wife, who later was named Eve after the fall, she became the P.M. of the second half of the day called the Eve. Me. So is Adam and Eve and not Adam and Deacon Stevie. It's Eve and Adam and not Eve and Ellen Degenerate. Operation Mockingbird. How to kill a mockingbird. How many letters does the title Adam have? Four. Eve, three. That represents not just 7,000 years, but we are actually in day seven as a formation of day seven in Genesis 2 and 7. And Adam has four letters representing the first 4,000 years of the law of Moses. Eve has three letters representing the last 3,000 years of grace. That's 7,000 years or a continuation of seven days of creation. Operation Mockingbird. So the origin of who you are is spirit. God did not breathe blackness into Adam. God did not breathe whiteness into Adam. God did not breathe redness or brownness or yellowness into Adam. Those are deep state woke terms. When you're coming into the apostolic, your race no longer counts. Your skin color, your ethnicity goes out the window because you are now a part of a new kingdom, the kingdom of Yeshua the Christ. Stay there in Genesis 32. We're laying foundation. For those of you who were not here Tuesday night, 
the term ice rael. The first two letters reveals the acronym meaning ISIS. As you move forward to Genesis 32, verse number one, and Yaqub, or Jacob, went on, went on his way. Now, wait a minute now. There's no J in the Hebrew alphabet. So it's not Jacob. It's Yaqub. The name of, of our Messiah, the true Messiah, is not pronounced with the letter J. It's capital Y for Yeshua, Yahashua, Yahashua, Hamashiach, Yeshua, the Messiah, Yeshua, the Christ, the Christos, one who anoints with revelatory insight. So Yaqub went on his way. I want to announce that today, between resting between two podcasts that I was on as a guest, an Islamic cleric reached out to the bishop via by email that was sent to our New York office and Sister Lisa sent a copy of the email to me. He said, Bishop, why do you keep saying that Islam is not a God? Islam was created by the Vatican system in 610 AD, speak through me, Holy Spirit. Pope Boniface IV had commissioned the second Archbishop of Canterbury Bishop William, William Lawrence, who was not just working for the Vatican system, but also for the Church of England. Archbishop William Lawrence, his Catholic territory was Mecca and Medina in Arabia. This is what I wrote back to this Muslim cleric out of New York City. I said, sir, Islam did not come from God. It was created by Pope Boniface IV as a conspiracy to recruit a Catholic nun by the name of Khadija. Khadija became the first wife of Muhammad. Thank you, Dr. Bill. Khadija was a member of a Catholic Vatican monastery in a section outside of Mecca called Maka, capital M A W K A H. This blew the minds, the mind of this Islamic cleric. And I said to him via the email that Khadija was under orders through the bishop over Mecca and Medina and Maka, Archbishop William Lawrence, who was working both for the Church of England and the Vatican system out of Rome. So Islam was created by the Vatican order 
because Rome needed a military industrial complex to conquer Palestine beginning at Jerusalem. Wisdom and knowledge. How did the Quran come about? God did not give Muhammad the Quran. The Quran was written by Archbishop William Lawrence as early as 607 AD and also written by the Vatican order and sent to a young man by the name of Muhammad. This blew away the mind of this Muslim cleric that I don't know. What does this have to do with what's going on in the Middle East? Islam through Sunnis and Shiites developing into terrorist organizations. Every Muslim is not a terrorist, but Islam was designed by the Vatican order and the term Allah is the 365th God, small g, which represents a multi-sexual being of a half moon or crescent. So the religion called Islam is a fabrication. Allow me to go slow. I wrote this Islamic cleric this imam gave him dates, times, names, lengths, and gave him our ministry number in New York and our even our 917 number. And I have a Zoom call with him tomorrow. But he said, in essence, in the email, Bishop, I've never heard of this before that the Arab world you've been lied to, you were taught that Muhammad came on the bloodline of Adam and you were taught that Islam came from God as God gave the Quran to Muhammad in a cave in Mecca, that's a lie. And inside of the Kaaba which is the Arabic interpretation of the black cube of Saturn or Saturday or Saturn, Satanalia or Satan. That there are thousands of gods inside of the black cube of Saturn, which the Islamic world calls the Kaaba where the Hajj takes place every year or every two years and people from all over the Muslim world are worshiping the 365th God or demon. Now you've been taught a lie, Arabs, that Muslims, that Allah is the same God as Christ. That's a lie. Islam, bottom line, is a fabrication created by Rome through the global papal bull edict of Pope Boniface IV through the Archbishop of both Canterbury and who is also serving as the Episcopal Bishop of Rome in Central Arabia. Two and a half billion Muslims 
you are living a lie. Operation Mockingbird. Ice, I-S, means Isis, queen of heaven. Not heaven with a capital H, which means the place of where God resides. The first two letters of the term Israel is the acronym for Isis, the queen of heaven, small h. Always remember, students, Heaven with a capital H is where God resides. But there is a counterfeit heaven with a small h, which is hell. So God gave this term, not as a term of a blessing to Yakub, but as a adjective sign to expose his nature, Isis. Then the next two letters is the term Ra, the sun Egyptian god, Amun-Ra, A-M-O-M or A-M-U-N, Amun-Ra. The Roman Catholic system Going back 1,800 years, through Constantine and his homosexual lover, Pope Sylvester, had designated the seventh day on the Gregorian calendar. The term Grigori means fallen angel. The fallen angels of Genesis 6 were first called Grigories, who gave to the daughters of men the Gregorian calendar, who then had transferred that centuries later to Pope Gregory of Rome. So we started with the Julian calendar through the mathematics of Julius Caesar. And now we come to a 12 month calendar, which are names of fallen angels in Roman and Greek demonology. Operation Mockingbird. On the back of the $1 bill at the top of the pyramid has the all-seeing eye of Ptah or Ra or Amun-Ra, the third eye of Lucifer or Lucifer. Take the word Lucifer and write it from right to left. Because Hebrew is written from right to left, you get the Latin Vulgate word, refinkle, which means the recycling of fecal matter. That's all Lucifer is. And the term Sunday, worshiping the sun god Ra, was to be established not by the Apostolic Church of Acts 2, but by this counterfeit church, the Church of Babylon, the global Vatican system. There has to be a revolution. The Church of Christ can no longer worship Christ on Sunday or any day of the week because we don't live actually in time we live in a timeless relationship with the Christ. Operation Mockingbird. The last two letters is the term L, like Beth L, L, E-L, which is a Canaanite deity, a mythic god, small g, M-I-T-H-A-R-I-C. 
a Baalistical deity. Baal, Baalism, capital B-A or B, thank you, Holy Spirit, small b, apostrophe A, then A-L, which is a chemistry composition. So when God gave this term to a restless individual named Yaku, it was not to bless him. The term Israel is a term that would reveal the nature of this individual named Yaku a witch the theological world calls Jacob. As a side note, Abraham's bloodline was Chaldean. God brought him out of the earth of the Chaldees. The term Hebrew doesn't show up until later in Genesis chapter 15 going forward. Hebrew is not a bloodline. Hebrew means he rules. God gave man dominion. So technically, Adam, the Adam of Genesis chapter 2, is the first Hebrew. And the term Jew means one who is not only a disciplined vessel in Christ, but genetically of the bloodline of Judah. In the text, in Genesis 32, verse 28, God was actually asking this man a question. Wait a minute. Since God knows all things, why would God ask Jacob, what is your name? Because God did not recognize who he was. I, I think about that. And not only did God not recognize him because God knows all things, but Yaakov did not recognize God. He stole his brother's birthright. And his brother had now has now been taught to call himself African. Can I teach? In verse 29 of Genesis 32 and 29, Jacob asked him, tell me. This is where we get the term tell Aviv. Or Tel Aviv. Aviv, A V I V, is a deity in Canaanite and Assyrian demonology. The state of Israel is a global Roman corporation. There's a difference between the state of Israel versus the nation of Israel. The state of Israel is a corporation that is not ordained by God. Let me say this again. I'm going to get John Hagee and the rest of these Christian Zionists upset. The state of Israel is not of God. The apostolic church is not a state. The apostolic church is not a corporation. But yet some way, somehow, we got pastors who are incorporating their ministries. That's another topic for another day. Is any corporation ordained by God? Technically, no. Great question, Pastor Ian. The term 
corporation is a Roman legal term, which means corpse. Corp, corpse, a dead entity, a body with laws and rules and regulations, which is the composition of the matrix. You pay your mortgage as a part of the corporation of a bank. Mortgage means mortuary. You're paying a 30-year death loan, which can never be paid off because God is not in a corporation. The body of Christ is not a corporation. Oh, there you go, Pasithera. Oh, my. Debt peasants insurance. Ask Walmart about that. Some years ago, as a side point, thank you, Pasithera, for, for reminding me of debt peasants insurance. There was a multi-million multi dollar lawsuit from families of former Walmart employees who had passed because the Walmart Corporation, being a part of the deep state out of Arkansas, after the employees had died, they thought while they were living that, God forbid, if they died, their families would get their life insurance money. When in reality... It was because of dead peasants insurance, Walmart was getting the life insurance money of employees that had passed on. This is what you see, you have to understand, students, that I'm going to say something that's very radical. I believe in the first constitution of 1776. But there is a part of the Constitution that must be changed. That part is upon the republic on which we stand. Well, the term republic means Roman Empire law. The founding fathers though ordained by God to create a nation, but psychologically they were still stuck in Rome. So the apostolic order is not a corporation. We are not a state. Neither are we a republic. The Apostolic Church is a theocracy where Christ rules as the government, not through a two-party system of Democrat or Democ, a Greek god of the state, nor a Republican, the Greek god of of the state. So you had Demonk, a Greek god of not just the people in the state, democracy or democratic, but you also have Republican, named after the Greek god of statehood, Republii, capital R E P U B L I A. That's not a god. So our nation must remove the term republic and put in its place that we are built upon the theocratic government of God's word as one nation under Christ with liberty and justice for all as presently constructed the two-party system 
has failed us. You're right, Matrix Free. It's unsustainable. That's a part of Operation Mockingbird. 53 states on the flag. 53 stars, some say more, some say less. It's a scam, Pastor Emma. If you take that star, those 53 stars, some say more, some say less, and turn it right or left, it is shaped like the star of Baphomet. Under Roman law, it had sections called states. The term state means corporation. So the United States is actually called the United Corporations of America. There has to be an apostolic revolution. Each corporation, each state has a governor who governs man's Thought and man's soul. Great to see you, uh, Pillars and Strategies. Great to see you, Apostle Ty and Apostle Carlotta Kemp, my son and daughter in Christ. So the governor governs men, and the people in that state or corporation is called constituents. What's a constituent? A constituent under Roman law was called a house pet. A, now think about this. A constituent under Roman law is called a house pet. The Roman law giver, Publius Ovid, Publius, this is where you get the term for public school system, Everything is a Roman structure. Had said that the term human race means the human trance. Stop calling yourself the human race because it means the human trance. The term human means monster. Can I take my time? Nowhere in the scriptures did it say that God created a human. According to the Valentine's Law Dictionary, going back to 1948, it said that the term human means sea monster or monster. Adam was not a monster pre-fall. But in Genesis 3 and 6, and it's interesting because in Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 to 6, the serpent spoke 46 words to the woman, but now we got 46 chromosomes. Each word that the serpent spoke to the woman was a transference of a chromosome, which now is a part of a billion people. There is a term in Genesis 3 and 6, that term or terms to make one wise. Wise. That means a Homo sapien, and the term homo sapien means hybrid or human. God did not create 8 billion people to be animals. So stop calling yourself human. Your child is life. Stop calling your child a fetus because the term fetus means an animal. 
95% of the language that we use, that you're not you and I, but the world uses is laced with some curse. So in the text in Genesis 32, verses 30 and 31, is the term pineal or pineal, like pineal gland, with an I to the term pinul in verse 37 with the U. So we go from I-U, U-I. The light of the body is the I. What God was doing was exposing the nature of who God was wrestling with. Operation Mockingbird. So there's got to be a revolution starting with the first constitution. And the part of the constitution, I believe in Article 2, Section 3, or Article 1, Section 3 of the constitution, that it says that a certain group of people is three-fifths of a man. Not just human, animal, but subhuman or subanimal. During the time of slavery, slaves could not legally vote. Each slave was worth anywhere from three to six votes. Though the slave could not vote, the slave master, his wife, and their children would use the slave as a stock as three-fifths. That must be removed. That's a part of the shadow government called Project Mockingbird, Operation Mockingbird, how to kill a mockingbird. So in Genesis 32, verses 30 and 31, this nature is exposed. The state of Israel is a corporation. Thank you, Pastor Leslie. Ishmael, including Esau, who are Semitic, are being bombed off of the earth by a corporation that's masquerading as Isaac. The term state of Israel is a corporation that's traded on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. And Pastor Coney, if you have that link, please put it up for the Israel, Israel Corporation LTD Limited. And Pastor Colleen, if you can put up the stock ticker number. You see, this is the show me state. Stay there in Genesis chapter 32, verses 30 and 31. Operation Mockingbird. There's a difference between an Israeli versus an Israelite. Why am I going through this again? Because you have to understand what's going on in Gaza. That it is, there is an attempt with the backing of the United States, France, Germany, England to destroy life in Gaza. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. I don't support a corporation. I do not support the state of Israel because it's a Rothschild Roman Corporation. And in Israel, Lee, L I, is a modern day kind of the original Hebrew Israelite, but they are not the Israelites. They are Israelis. I'm not saying that's an evil word, but they are Israelis. 
who have been converted to Judaism. Whether that is Orthodox Judaism, Reconstructionist Judaism, or Conservative Judaism, or Liberal Judaism. The state of Israel was incorporated on May 14th, 1948. That's interesting. 1948. One plus nine plus four plus eight equals 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. Or 19 plus 48 equals 67. The 1967 Six-Day War. Interesting. And Israel Lee is a modern-day citizen of the corporation called the State of Israel. The year before, in 1947, November 29, 1947, a United Nations resolution adopted the Resolution 181 that gave the Rothschilds the legal right to carve up Palestine through a Palestinian partition. They gave that land to an entity that is a fabrication. I'm not talking about the people. I'm not castigating them. I'm talking about the system. The system called the state of Israel, not the nation, the state is a fabrication because it goes back to the 1917 Balfour Declaration. Arthur James Balfour, a British politician who was on the puppet strings of his master, Walter Rothschild, the first baron of the British Rothschilds. The 1917 Balfour Declaration simply did two things. Number one, it would establish a state global Roman corporation called the State of Israel by first establishing a counterfeit Arabian government called the House of Saul. The House of Saud are crypto Kanzarians. Oh, what's a crypto Kanzarian? A crypto Kanzarian is when publicly they say they are Muslim, but privately they are Talmudist who adhere to both the Babylonian Talmud and the Jerusalemite Talmud that says that it's legal for a man to marry a little girl when she's three. It's legal for a grown woman to marry a little boy when he's three. That's in the Talmud. I'm not castigating Israelis, just the Talmud. That's an Israeli of the state of Israel. But in Israel, Real light, L I T E, they are the ancient original peoples of the earth and the original Hebrews and Jews. Black America and the black diaspora, we are the original peoples of the earth. We are the original Hebrews and we are the original Jews. It doesn't mean that my beautiful brothers and sisters, the, these Israelis can't be Jews, but they are our cousins or our younger brothers and sisters. What I'm establishing is foundational history. 
No, we're not better than any other people. But the chosen people were black. I'm not teaching a black and white theology. The reason why we're seeing the bombings now, because now the Palestinians are people of color who are being slaughtered. Yes, Hamas must be butchered. Yes, Hezbollah must be butchered. Yes, Al-Qaeda, the Taliban, the Muslim Brotherhood must be butchered. But why are you indiscriminately bombing and destroying children? As of tonight, over 6,000 Palestinians have been slaughtered. Over 2,000 children have been decapitated. Israeli Israelite, if you connect the word light, L-I-T-E, to the word li, you get the term lightly. So in Genesis chapter 32, God said, since I know your nature, I'm going to give you a nature name called Israel. We're living in a multipolarity world that is giving birth to a new war world order. There's a Roman term called corpus separatum, S-E-P-A-R-A-T-U-M. Not only is the state of Israel in Palestine, but Jerusalem is a global capital of Rome. You see, this is what happens when you, through the Balfour Declaration, take people out of Turkey, take people out of Mongolia, take people out of the central Han Dynasty in central China, and you took them out of East Central and Western Europe, and you call them Jews, put them in. I have to be careful. Listen, they are Jewish, my beautiful brothers and sisters, but simply they're not the original Hebrews. Operation Mockingbird. For the Palestinian right of return, now Palestinians in the West Bank the Golan Heights and the Gaza Strip are living under apartheid. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want us to get a strike or be taken down. To go through a Deuteronomy anointing again, to repeat this, the term Palestine. Now, you've been taught that the term Palestine means Philistine or Philistia. That's not true. Palestine is a composition of two Roman meanings. Pale, like pale face. Then the last six letters is a Roman term meaning istein or corporation. The Roman Empire emperor Hadrian in 132 AD had renamed the kingdom of Judah, which was split into the kingdom of Judah in the north, or the kingdom of Israel, Israel, thank you, Holy Spirit, in the north, and the kingdom of Judah in the south. Because the people of Israel left Judaism, left the law, there was a splitting of the kingdom. The kingdom of Israel, the northern kingdom. Judah, the southern kingdom. So praise was no more here up north. It was Israel who was the thinking, which forced praise and worship to go from here to the south of the body. 
mind. You catch that. This is wisdom. So the splitting of the kingdom, Israel, the north, Judah, the south. But Judah is supposed to be on the north. Praise and worship of Christ is to lead us and guide us into all truth. And Israel, the flesh in the south. But it was switched around because of the sin of the bloodline of Judah. So today you have Semites and Shemites. You've been taught that the term Shemite or Semite is determined as Shem. There is no name or term Semite in the scripture. Ladies and gentlemen, the prophet Noah did not have a son named Sim. His name was Shem, S-H-E-M-I-T-E, Shemite or Shem, S-H-E-M. Him, Ham, Hemetic, Hermetic, Hermutical, Ham, Adri, Ham. The woman touched the him. The four women, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, touched the him of the garment of Christ. Semites or Israelis of the corporation of the state of Israel. Shemites are of the nation of Israel, the kingdom of Christ, the original peoples of the earth. One is not better than the other. And the term Sim or Semite, which is not a theological term, was created in 1771 and revealed to the world in 1781 through Dr. August Ludwig von Schlosser. Not a Hebrew, not a Jew, not a Kansarian, a German, who was paid by the Rothschilds to create a term, to fabricate a term called Sim or Semite and incorporate it into the term Shemite. And it's also on the ADL website. I'm not going to go through that tonight. You have to listen to the teaching from the other night. It's on the ADL's website that there's a difference between anti-Semitism with no dash versus anti-Semitism with a dash. August Ludwig von Schlosser created the term Semite. Under the guidance of the German Rothschilds in 1771, four years later, in 1781, it was revealed to the world, oh, the Semites are the chosen people. And so now we come to what we call the Gaza Strip. Now, before we get to the Gaza Strip, I'm not going to go through uh, the distinctions between Shem, Sim, and Shem. You have to go to uh, this past Tuesday's teaching. But I will say this, that Dr. August Ludwig von Schlosser, whose name that Jonathan Greenblatt of the ADL did not make mention on the ADL's website, created the term Semite, which was exposed to the world in 1781. And also on the ADL's website, this name was revealed, Dr. Moritz Steinschneider, S-T-E-I-N-S-C-H-N-I, N-E-I-D-E-R, nothing wrong with that name. Dr. Moritz Stein Schneider, an Austrian Israeli scholar, coined the term anti-Semitism with a dash 
in 1860. Both Dr. August Ludwig von Slosher, 1781, um, Dr. von Slosher in 1781 created the term Semite. And then 79 years later in 1860, Dr. Morris Stein Schneider created the term anti-Semitism with a dash. We've been lied to. I'm not castigating Israelis. I'm just letting my Israeli brothers and sisters know you've been lied to as well. Operation Mockingbird, Roger 1, Volume 1. Now go back to Genesis 2 and 7. I'm really going slow tonight. Is your minds blown? Put up those faces if your minds are blown this evening. Every terrorist organization, there's over 68 Islamic terrorist organizations in the Middle East. And altogether, there is anywhere between 1,500 to 3,000 terrorist organizations around the world. William Shakespeare once said that we must create an enemy in order to justify governments of receiving money. The term Hamas, it simply means an Islamic struggler, a defender of pain. Yasser Arafat had told an Italian newspaper that Hamas, get this, is a creature of the state of Israel. Hamas, Yasser Arafat had said, is simply a creature of Israel. Now, the term, there is a term that is in the Talmud, both the Babylonian Talmud and the Jerusalem Talmud. The term is called golem. G-O-L-E-M. It means a creature made out of dust. The Holy Spirit told me, Bishop, don't get ahead of me. In Genesis 2 and 7, Talmudists take, they take this scripture in Genesis 2 and 7, and they say that Adam was a golem a creature made out of dust to be controlled. And that is a lie in terms of Adam. So Yasser Arafat had said that Hamas is a creature of the state of Israel. And the golem is the serpent. Thank you, Pastor Sam. Former Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin, who was assassinated by Zionists because he wanted peace. The late Yitzhak Rabin had admitted that creating Hamas was a fatal error. Brigadier General Yitzhak Segev, S-E-G-E-V, an Israeli military governor in Gaza said to the New York Times that Hamas was created through the budget of the Mossad. 
that the Mossad got the money from the CIA given to the Mossad in 1987 to create a monster called Hamas. This is according to Brigadier General Yizak Zegev, S-E-G-E-V. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. Colonel David Hakim, H-A-K-A-M, an Israeli expert concerning Arab affairs, said that the original sin was Israeli support for Hamas that actually began in the late 1970s. Pastor calling these are Israelis saying this. A man by the name of Samuel Cohen who uses different first names, but Samuel Cohen, who was the director of religious affairs concerning the Gaza Strip more than 20 years, he said that Hamas, to my great regret, is Israel's creation. Am I correct, Pastor Chris Black? Hamas is Israel's creation. There was an Islamic scholar by the name of Amid Yassin. Amid, capital A H M E D, Yassin, capital Y A S I N, who was the point person of Hamas with the backing of Benjamin Netanyahu, the Mossad in the CIA in 1987. Ahmed Yassin, or Sheikh Ahmed Yassin, was an asset of American intelligence. The state of Israel spent 20 years to build Hamas from 1987 to 2007 and has spent the last 16 years trying to destroy what they created. Why would they do that, Dr. Bill? Because they don't want peace. Netanyahu must be tried for war crimes. Don't take us down. Don't give us a strike, YouTube. Yes, Hamas must be butchered, but why are you indiscriminately bombing, destroying children, churches, colleges, universities, elementary schools, elementary, and hospitals? You're dealing with an entity that created the Hamas. The Palestinian Liberation Organization now controls the West Bank. Hamas controls the Gaza Strip. The term Hamas actually means ah muka ah islamia. Allow me to pronounce it. A L space muka M U K A space Al A L space Islamia I S L A M I A and some Orthodox Islamic scholars pronounce Hamas as Makwa, M A Q A W A, Ma, M A H A A L, Islamia, I S L A M I W Y A H. 
which simply means an Islamic resistor or one who defends Islam or a struggler. According to the Times of Israel, if you type in on Google.com, if you can find that for me, Pastor Colleen, type in on Google.com, Google not dot images, but dot com, how Israel's leaders use targeted killings to try to stop history. How Israel's leaders, how Israel's leaders use targeted killings to try to stop history. It says that the state of Israel, and this is written on the Times of Israel. They don't like, they hate Zionism. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. The true patriots, Israeli patriots, of the everyday Israeli people who hate the government of Netanyahu, who hate the Rothschilds, who hate Zionism. And we got some powerful patriots working for the Times of Israel, whom the bishop loves, and works for the Jerusalem Post, whom bishop loves. They're saying that Sheikh Ahmad Yassin, a Palestinian scholar, was an asset of not just American intelligence, but he is a Mossad double agent who was later taken out by the Mossad because Yassin was going to expose Netanyahu's hand in creating Hamas. A beautiful Israeli writer, a powerful writer, a man by the name of David Hor Horovitz, H-O-R-O-V-I-T-Z, Horovitz, said in the Times of Israel, opt-ed, 26th of January, 2018, that the Mossad has assassinated 2,700 leaders in the past 75 years. Thank you, Pastor Colleen Horowitz. This is an Israeli scholar and a writer. One of my favorite authors, a powerful Israeli scholar by the name of Ronin, R O. N E N Bergman. This is wickedness, Pastor Sam. B E R G M A N. He wrote a book entitled Rise and Kill First. Rise and Kill First The Secret History of Israel's Targeted Assassination. Dr. Bergman said that the term rise and kill first is actually in the Babylonian Talmud and in the Jerusalem Talmud, rise and kill first. But true Judaism doesn't teach this. That's not in the Torah. It's in the Talmud. Dr. Bergman said that in June of 1948, the Mossad was created with CIA money given to David Ben-Gurion. And David Ben-Gurion, it gets deeper, was instrumental in bringing about the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Not only did Ronan Bourbon say this in his powerful book, Rise and Kill First, but Muammar Gaddafi had said that and they took out Gaddafi. 
that the state of Israel had developed, Pastor Colleen, an atom in a hydrogen bomb going back to 1960 at the Demona nuclear plant in northern Israel. JFK did not want the state of Israel to have a nuclear weapon. According to not just Dr. Ronan Bergman, Rise and Kill First, but Muammar Gaddafi had said it was the Mossad, along with Langley, Virginia, the CIA, who had taken out John F. Kennedy, because Kennedy wanted to shut down Israel's nuclear program. I'm coming up to Gaza today. Operation Mockingbird. Is your minds blown? Put up those faces, ladies and gentlemen, if your minds are blown tonight. Reading by the book by Zygmunt Freud. Uh, he was a demon, but he wrote a powerful book called Moses and Moses. Dr. Sigmund Freud had said that Africans, Blacks, are the original Hebrews and Blacks in the Black diaspora are the original Jews. Dr. Dr. Sigmund Freud said that through his scholarship teaching and book, Moses and Monotheism. Dr. Bergman, getting back to him, Rise and Kill First, he said, in the 1967 Six-Day War, the state of Israel won and took Palestine territory, the Golan Heights, the West Bank, and the Gaza Strip with the backing of the Central Intelligence Agency. In 1987, the state of Israel and Mossad had contracted Sheikh Amin Yassin to create an enemy called Hamas. We need to create not just 68 Islamic terrorist organizations in the Arab world, but we need to create 3,000 anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000 terrorist organizations, along with the CIA, MI5, MI6, Pakistani intelligence, every intelligence agency has spies in each other's agency. In 1988, the Charter of Hamas called for the destruction of the state of Israel. Hamas must be butchered. Allow me to repeat this. Hamas must be butchered. I have no problem with that. In the Charter, the 1988 Charter of Hamas, which Netanyahu, who was with the Mossad then, approved that the state of the corporation of Israel must be destroyed, not the people, the system. The Oslo Accords out of Oslo, Norway, was a pair of agreements between the corporation, the state of Israel, and the Palestinian Liberation Organization, Yasser Arafat, the Oslo One Accord, part one, was signed in Washington, D.C. in 1993. The Oslo Part Two Accord was signed in Taba, Egypt in 1995. What is the Oslo Accords? Get some, get, get, get your patriot brothers and sisters off a telegram, gab, bit shoot in the Patriot Act because what I'm going to say is going to wreck your thinking concerning Operation Mockingbird. 
The Oslo Accords, parts one and two, was the beginning of the legal process aimed at achieving a peace treaty based on Resolution 242 and Resolution 338 of the United Nations Security Council for feeling the right, get this, of the Palestinian people to self-determination, but not self-independence. Thank you, Pastor Leslie. Recognizing both the state of Israel as a state where the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, must recognize the state of Israel as a corporation and that the state of Israel will recognize the Palestinian people only as a partner in bilateral negotiations but not as a Palestinian state. Do you see the snake? Okay. Hamas must be butchered. The PLO must be butchered. I have no problem with that. But in the Oslo Accords, it was written by snakes, parts one and two, where the Palestinian people had to recognize a captivate Isaac as the state of Israel, a corporation, but the Palestinians, listen, was not recognized by the state of Israel as a Palestinian state, only as a Palestinian people, a partner in bilateral negotiations. The state of Israel therefore does not recognize the Palestinian state, but only its subjects, the people. Interesting. The creation of the Palestinian National Authority, which is the PRO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, which they control parts of the West Bank, in the Golan Heights, including central Jerusalem, and Hamas controls, as of now, the Gaza Strip. Sheikh Ahmad Yassin was a creature of the CIA. And the present-day leader of uh, Hamas, the present-day political leader of Hamas, is Ishmael Haneye, H-A-N-I-Y-E-H, Ishmael Haneye, now lives in Doha, Qatar, and he is a high-level board member of the Central Bank of Qatar. Did you catch that? The present-day political leader of Hamas is a high-level board member of the Board of Governors of the Central Bank of Qatar that through the Persian Holdings Limited with Bill Ackman, a devil, is holding America's $6 billion in escrow for humanitarian purposes. But the Bahamas headquarters is in Daha, Qatar, through the Central Bank of Qatar that's holding the $6 billion that but broken diaper Brandon sent for humanitarian purposes. But Ishmael Hanaye is a high-level executive board member of the Central Bank of Qatar. 
both sides, the innocent victims, Israelis, and the Palestinian people, you're being played. Operation Mockingbird, how to kill a mockingbird. Stay there in Genesis 2 and 7. I'll get to Adam. There was an agreement called the Gaza-Jericho Agreement between the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, versus the state of Israel. The Gaza-Jericho Agreement was an agreement on the Gaza Strip in the Jericho geographical area called the Levant. There was a follow-up treaty which, which was a follow-up treaty to the two-part Oslo Accords, part one in 93 and part two in 94. And then came also the 1994 Cairo Agreement that was signed on May 4th, 1994 by Yasser Arafat, who was poisoned later by Mossad with cancer, and the late Prime Minister Yizak Rabin which limits Palestinian self-rule. But you just got done signing an agreement two years ago in Oslo that the Palestinian people have a right to self-determination, but because Palestine is not recognized as a state by the state of Israel, now the Palestinians have a level of self-rule. You see, snakes in the contract. It gets deeper. Can I get a drink of water? Listen, I don't know. I'm acting like my, my daughter's past a sippy. Listen. The Central Intelligence Agency. When you look at the logo of the CIA, The CIA logo, it represents an occultic symbol. Now, allow me to explain this. The CIA logo has an ego that's looking to the east and west. Now, when you're looking at the logo in front of you on the screen, it's pointing to the left and the left of the United States is the Eastern Hemisphere. Or the eagle can be looking not just to the Eastern Hemisphere, China, but further to the Western Hemisphere of the European Union. When you look at the neck of the eagle, it represents a rolled up chessboard. In the lobby of the Central Intelligence Agency, the floor is a chessboard. So when an individual goes into the lobby of the CIA, they become a chess piece. So the chess board that's rolled up like a blanket or a carpet becomes the symbol at the neck of the eagle on the logo of the Central Intelligence Agency. On the shield of the CIA, it's got what they call the Star of Virginia, created as the Star of Virginia by Alexander the Great. There are many jets owned by deep staters. There is a multi-billionaire, Canadian multi-billionaire, Pastor Colin, if you can look up his name and pass a bill. 
He has Peter Nygaard. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Canadian Peter Nygaard's jet plane. If you look it up on Google Images, the star of Regina called the star of Macedonia created by Alexander the Great is on the floor of Peter Nygaard's jet where stripper, strippers have a pole. There's a pole in the middle of the plane in the middle of that star that's also on the shield of the CIA where strippers strip on a pole inside of Peter Nygaard's jet plane. And at the bottom of the pole is the star of Virginia, the star of Alexander the Great called the star of Macedonia. And there are many books written by patriots that you can look up that talks about pedophilia, children being eaten, going back thousands of years with the star of vagina around the head of the pedophile. What, what do you say? I'm saying, I'm saying that the reason why we're seeing the state of Israel bombing the Gaza Strip because there's oil in the Gaza Strip. Why do you think that they told the people to go south? Because the oil is up north. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. You see, this is the Missouri State Generation. So the logo of the CIA has to start a vagina at the neck of the eagle. It is that 64 piece chess piece on the floor of the lobby of the CIA that's rolled up. Pastor Kofi, you see, this is global psychological intelligence. Through the Pentagon, they have psychological units designed to manipulate Black America in the Black diaspora. Every part of both the CIA, the NSA, and the Pentagon, they have think tanks that have mastered the art of manipulating certain ethnic groups. Operation Mockingbird. So the Central Intelligence Agency is the most powerful terrorist organization on earth. Come closer, as Pastor Sippy says. The Central Intelligence Agency is the most powerful terrorist organization on this earth. It started in 1941 as the Office of the Coordinator of Information, or the COI. The following year, in 1942, it was changed to the OSS, the Office of Strategic Services. Three years later, in 1945, it became the Strategic Services Unit, or SSU. In 1946, it became the Central Intelligence Group, or SIG. Then the following year, it became the Central Intelligence Agency. Central means consciousness. Intelligentsia, it's a corporate agency of destruction. Central Intelligence Agency. General William Wild Bill Donovan. If you guys get a chance, look at the movie The Good Shepherd with Matt Damon and Robert De Niro, who plays William Wild Bill Donovan. General William Donovan was is considered the father of American intelligence. Through the 1947 National Security Act, the Central Intelligence Agency 
became a global terrorist corporation. Every single CIA director, and I'm going to do a series on the history of the directors of the CIA. But allow me to give you this snippet, this seed tonight. Every director in the history of the Central Intelligence Agency is related by blood. Another topic for another day. Post 9-11 came what is called national intelligence or the director of national intelligence in 2004, three years after 9-11. The director of national intelligence oversees 17 U.S. intelligence agencies. In 2015, the CIA satellite divisions was changed to mission centers. Since 1947, the Central Intelligence Agency has assassinated over 6,000 enemy combatants, what they call enemy combatants. They assassinate, they overthrow governments, they make elections. The Central Intelligence Agency, the Mossad and British MI6, including French intelligence, created, designed, and are subsidizing every single terrorist apparatus and organizations on this earth, not just in the Middle East, but on a global scale as high as 3,000 terrorist organizations because Mississippi, without a enemy, they won't be able to go to Congress in the Senate to get paid. It's a global chessboard, Dr. Bill which is Operation Mockingbird. You have to understand that black people's pain is being manipulated and black people's trauma is being weaponized against them. Every Palestinian, every Palestinian organization I'm going slow tonight. Every Palestinian organization was created by U.S. intelligence, MI6 in Great Britain, and the Mossad, including French intelligence. The Palestinian BDS, the Palestinian Boycott Divestment and Sanctions Corporation was created by the Mossad. The Palestinian po Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine was created by the Mossad, including the CIA. The Palestinian Campaign for the Academic and Cultural Boycott of Israel was created by the Mossad, including MI6 in the Central Intelligence Agency. Thank you, Rose. Terrorists like Samadayan, S-A-M-I-D-O-U-N, Adamir, A-D-A-M-E-E-R, Within the Al Hawk A L H A Q terrorist organization, which is a front organization for the defense of children of international Palestine, is paid with money through the European Union. 
and the European Union, along with the European coordination of committees and the associations for Palestine was created by Mossad, MI6, and the Central Intelligence Agency. It's a chessboard. And the Palestinian Center for Human Rights was created by Mossad, which created Hamas in the PLO, Al Qaeda, Taliban, Muslim Brotherhood, all under the bankroll of Mossad in the Central Intelligence Agency. The PLO, along with the Palestinian Return Center Solidarity Committee created by Mossad and the Central Intelligence Agency. There you go. Dulles and JFK, the Bay of Pigs. The friends of Al Akas or Aksa. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Capital A L then dash and capital A Q S A. Al Aksa, which is a front CIA organization for American Muslims for Palestine, are financially subsidized by NGOs. In the Western Hemisphere, and NGOs, non-governmental organizations, in the Eastern Hemisphere, through NQTEL, the Central Intelligence Agency. The CIA, the Mossad, British MI6, including Germans BND, German intelligence, and French intelligence, Every single intelligence agency on the earth are subsidizing every terrorist organization on the planet. Why? They need to keep the paradigm of war, bombing, destruction, assassination so they can man manipulate the global media of the crack news network that used to have Don Sweet T. Lemon, that used to have Christopher Fredo Cromo, and then over at MSNBC, Rachel Madcow Maddow. And don't forget about Joy Crisco Oil Reed, and even Fox News to a point, in the CBC, in the BBC, they are lying to you when they're telling you, oh, 40 heads of Israeli babies were cut off, no proof. They're telling you, oh, they, listen, we, the Israelis, or the Mossad, did not bomb that hospital. It was some jihadist faction group with no proof, Pastor Kofi. Oh, but they manipulated a voice computer outlet to make you think, ah, oh, it was Hamas. But the same computer, voice DNA, okay, paradigm, was used in 12 to 15 other wars. It's a scam. The Central Intelligence Agency, Mossad, MI6, the German BND, German uh, Intelligence, and French Intelligentsia are all working together, creating local, state, national, and international terrorist organization so we can feed the beast called the global military industrial complex and the global beast of the prison industrial complex and the drug industrial complex and the crack coke. You see, it's all a scam. In my conclusion, Operation Mockingbird. The origins of Hamas, a militant, the militant legacy of Israeli too. Type this in, uh, Pastor Colling, on Google.com. The origins of Hamas, militant legacy. Or is really two. 
the origins of Hamas, militant legacy, or is really two, where the Jewish press is exposing their own. There are assassination black sites all over the world. The only nations that don't have a CIA, Mossad, MI6, French intelligence black site is China, North Korea, and Cuba. Remember the rendition program that the Bush administration put out? Bush too. Now they have become global assassination black sites where they can poison you with cancer, but it doesn't show up until five years later. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. You see, receipts, Missouri state receipts. Mogadishu, Somalia is a black site for CIA assassins and Mossad killers. Athens, Greece, Mogadishu, Somalia, all over the world through extraordinary rendition of torture, which still goes on, of enemy combatants, over 3,000 global terrorist organizations. Here comes the term golem. Let me get a drink of water. Is your minds blown this evening? I said, is your minds blown? Put up those faces if your minds are indeed blown. Module 2, Volume 2 of Operation Mockingbird. How to Kill a Mockingbird. Genesis 2 and 7. This is where... The Talmudist scholars are using this verse where they are trying to twist the scriptures. The term golem, G-O-L-E-M, According to Talmudic scholars, Golem, G-O-L-E-M, or Goylem, G-O-Y-L-E-M, is a creature formed out of lifeless dust. You see what they're trying to do to the scripture in Genesis 2 and 7, Talmudic, Talmudical scholars, that a Goylem is a creature created out of lifeless dust, a substance of the earth brought to life through a ritualistic, get this, incantation. Through a ritualistic incantation, your Kabbalistical paradigm. If you look up the term golem on Google Images, so the term golem represents a creature designed out of dust to be controlled. This is what the Rothschilds, the synagogue of Satan, looks at us as God's creation. So the term golem, the origins of, of Hamas, the origins of Hamas, militant legacy or Israeli too, it says that Hamas is the golem. There is a high level principality demon in Kabbalistical demonology called Milog. 
M E L O G, Melog, which is a magical occultical, occultic witchcraft entity, a creature made out of mud to be controlled as magic in witchcraft. Trying to do not Jewish people, not Israelis, by Talmudical scholars, these devils are telling you, oh, that God created Adam as a golem, as a occultic witchcraft entity that can be controlled. But the Talmudical scholars don't know that we have a free moral will. Melog made of mud to perform magic tricks of witchcraft with no life, light or life of its own, a melog, take the word melog, M-E-L-O-G, and write it rabbinically from right to left, because Hebrew is written from right to left, you get the term golem. Melog or golem, with no light, no life of its own, a controlled asset of a particular group of power. A controlled aspect of a particular group of power. The state of Israel thinks that you and I are golems. The devil is alive. We are not golems. We are men and women of Yeshua the Christ. The golem also in Kazarian folklore is controlled by a global puppet master, which then the golem then creates chaos. Golem controlled, controlling masters create chaos in the Gaza Strip, the Golden Heights, the West Bank, throughout the United States, in Ukraine. That's why President Putin, a patriot, is destroying the puppet masters of the Golem called the Rothschild Deep State. Operation Mockingbird. The term golem, if you go to Wikipedia, and once you get to Wikipedia, type in in the space bar at the top, golem. G-O-L-E-M, golem. It shows, I believe, anywhere from five to six photos on the right. The second photo on the Wikipedia page of Golem, G-O-L-E-M, the second photo on the right shows a Kanzarian rabbi named Low, L-O-E-W. We are told that the Low's bloodline were bloodline of occultists. Thousands of years later, they created the Lowe's Corporation. It shows Rabbi Lowe standing on top of an individual that becomes a demon because of its puppet master the chaos creator, Rabbi Low. The third picture down on the right-hand side, on the Wikipedia page under Golden, the third photo down on the right-hand side, it shows also a rabbi, another rabbi performing incantations of creating a creature like Hamas, 
called Golan. Do you understand how powerful this is? On the Wikipedia page, thank you, Pastor Colleen, for providing that link. I double dare you, just go to the link on the right-hand side, the third photo down, it's showing a rabbi doing incantations, creating a creature of chaos called Golem or a Hamas. Creating a Hamas, which then becomes a monster. That painting was painted by the Czech artist Mikolas Alays. Mikolas Alays, A L E S, who created, and this is not against Jewish people or Jewish rabbis, this is a golem creator, a Talmudical scholar, a rabbi performing occultic witchcraft incantations in creating a golem called a Hamas. Do you understand how powerful this is? You're not a lifeless substance. Thank you, Dr. Bill. We are not a lifeless substance to these demons. We were created in the image and likeness of Yeshua of the Christ. Christ will destroy. In my conclusion, Operation Mockingbird. So God did not create or, or design or form Adam as a golem. God is not a manipulator. God doesn't create chaos. Man creates chaos because he's separated from God. It gets deeper. One of my favorite newspapers on this, or one of the most powerful, is called the Haaretz Online News Magazine, capital H double A R E T Z. If you would type on Google.com, Netanyahu, State of Israel, created a global monster. Netanyahu, then forward slash, State of Israel, created a global monster. This comes from one of the most powerful Israeli papers on this earth called the Haaretz. Don't call me an anti-Semite. I'm quoting from the Haaretz online magazine, the Times of Israel, and the Jerusalem Post. Remember that third photo, that painting on Wikipedia concerning Golem? creating through incantational witchcraft a Hamas to be controlled. Now the golem has become a monster. So you have to bomb it out of existence. In my conclusion, Dr. Bill, there is a global network called the Golem Network. The Golem dot network is a global computer system through the Mossad. It won't say the Mossad, but it's the Mossad. It is, thank you so much, Pastor Colleen, the Golem Network, Golem.network, where they also create viruses on behalf of Israeli intelligence. No one is teaching, thank you, Pastor Pam, no one is teaching this. And the Golem Network is also called 
the Prometheus system. Prometheus, Methius, Meth, Methuselah, 969 years old, wicked son of the prophet, the seer Enoch, Methuselah, Meth, Promoth or Prometheus, Theus, where the drug becomes the theology of one's soul. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. And that is it tonight. After two hours, 35 minutes, and 45 seconds, a March or two, volume two of Operation Mockingbird, How to Kill a Mockingbird, and I thank you. <laughs> oh, my. Listen. You see, I got to tell you, Pastor Colleen, Pastor Sam, and Pastor Jody, this is probably one of the most powerful teachings because the Lord told me to slow down. The ambulance, there you go, Pastor. <laughs> you see, we're not talking about Israeli people. They're innocent. I'm talking about the system of Zionism, which is a system of demons. It brutalizes nations. Why? is the most powerful nation, supposedly the United States, supporting the state of Israel because of the Rothschild influence. So you got Bill back, but broken diaper Brandon saying, we support the state of Israel because if he says he doesn't, he'll end up like JFK, Malcolm, Dr. King, and Robert F. Kennedy, okay? but no weapon formed against the Palestinian people. Listen, Hamas must be butchered. I have no problem with that, Pastor Colleen and Pastor Ewing, okay? The Hezbollah must be butchered. I have no problem with that. Al-Qaeda, the Taliban, the Muslim Brotherhood, and every single terrorist organization, both in the Middle East and throughout this planet, must be liquidated. I have no problem with that. Okay? You have to. to <laughs> oh, Pastor Colleen, you have to move to clone Joe 3. <laughs> okay? We support. They don't care how many people get bombed. We support. Oh, they're, oh my God. You see? So they look at 8 billion people as golems. No, it's not the Israeli people. It's the Rothschilds <coughs> who are the puppet masters creating the mindset of a golem to operate in occultic witchcraft. See, the burden of knowledge is the responsibility to act. You are one million percent right, Pastor Michael. You're not going to butt break the bishop. You see, you got to have an attitude and you have to understand. Listen, allow me to blow my nose. I am so sorry. Forgive me. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand that every individual that comes into your life is not your friend. That every individual that comes into your life is not your friend. And you got to cut them off. And sometimes, Pastor Colleen, Pastor Jody Bird, Pastor Ellis Ewing, Pastor Sam, the truth will force you to walk alone. I won't kowtow. I thank God that God has favored me to go to these red carpet events and interview people. They end up being touched and healed by the Holy Spirit, but I will not capitulate to the system. World War III is coming. Can I say this again? Listen. 
World War III is coming. If you look on black site, if you look on military dash history dot fandom dot com or black site, it will show a map of all of these CIA extraordinary rendition programs of torture, which is supposed to have ended a few years ago. Now they are assassination black sites. The Mossad has created the Central Intelligence Agency. The Mossad, when you go on the Haaretz website, H-A-A-R-E-T-Z, or just type in on google.com a brief history of the Netanyahu dash Hamas alliance. A brief history of the Netanyahu slash Hamas alliance written by a powerful Israeli writer, just a powerful writer, period, by Adam Raz, R-A-Z, opted October 20th, 2023, where he is exposing Netanyahu of being a part, not just of the Mossad, but creating the Hamas and the leadership of Hamas are in Qatar with the leader Ishmael is in a part of the higher echelon board of governors of the Central Bank of Qatar. You see, that you we're being lied to. We are being lied to, ladies and gentlemen. And the Arab states, you're being lied to. You were taught that God called Muhammad to create a Quran. Listen, listen. The Vatican system created Islam. We've been, listen. The Arab world, the Muslim world, you've been lied to. America, you've been like, if all of us have been duped and lied to. Black sites, black budgets. Thank you, Pastor Wally. People die of cancer? No, that's a CIA hit. Remember the assassination series. Thank you guys for being with the bishop tonight. Was your minds blown today? Thank you for putting up that link, Pastor Colleen. You see, I don't make stuff up. I provide evidence. The royal family, oh my Lord, the royal family is connected to Islam. You see that, Pastor Sam? And King Charles is in the bloodline of Vlad the Imperial. Do you guys remember the uh, the short series I did? I can't remember if it was earlier this year or last year. Was it Operation London Bridge? Was that it? Oper remember that? Oh, I might have to go back to that. And a lot of these... Uh, genetical bloodline killers, okay, especially these women, are in the Operation London Bridge. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. We got to go back to that series. All right, deep teaching. The Queen, thank you, uh, Pastor Ali Sevendetto. Now, we're told by the press, the media, that when she died, she died, was it last year or early this year or last year? That was a lie. Queen Elizabeth actually died the first six months of the pandemic. I got to be careful. Because the royal seal, the crown, the seal that's on the gates of Buckingham Palace was gone. That's always a sign and a symbol that the king or the queen has died. She died six months into the global shutdown. But why is it, 
Why was it like, what, two, three years later that she was buried? Well, she was already buried two and a half years before. You see, the seal was removed long before, thank you, before Queen died. <laughs> thank you, Pastor Colleen. Someone leaked information to the London, London Guard, uh, Guardian newspaper. The London Guardian newspaper. And I got two passive friends, one Nigerian, one a beautiful white British brother who works for the Guardian newspaper, whose names I'm not going to reveal. I don't want to jeopardize their jobs. And they are students in London. They told me, Bishop, we can't tell you who leaked the information. But someone amongst the royal family, which I think is um, Prince Harry's wife, Megan. When I said, was it Megan, Marco? They, they, could not, they said, Bishop, we can't answer that. But someone from the royal family leaked information to the London Guardian newspaper and said, okay, that the queen had died six months into the first year of the global shutdown. I said, well, who was in the casket then? They said it was not Queen Elizabeth. The funeral procession through London, it was not Queen Elizabeth's body in the casket. Londoners, those of you of the British Commonwealth, you're being lied. You were lied to. PayPal.me forward slash GSRR Mina Group. Okay? And Megan, she's going to have to be careful because she'll end up like Prince Diana. Everyone, we need your financial help. Listen, we need your financial help. Uh, we got two major projects upcoming in 2024. Did you guys enjoy the teacher tonight? It was at a slower pace. Was your minds blown tonight? I said, was your minds blown? Put up that those faces if your mind was blown tonight. And I think I may end this series tonight and start on a new series beginning next Tuesday. Thank you, Pastor Sam. We need your help. It is time for you. Some of you have not planted the Lord's tithe. Okay, you've been on the sidelines. You've been on in the bleachers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, it's time for you to plant the Lord's tithe. Thank you, Pastor Tierra, Pastor Ewing, and Pastor Kofi. This is scholarship teaching. You're not going to get this anywhere else, anywhere else in the world. In the links that Pastor Colleen and I shared with you, came from Israeli newspapers. They hate what's going on. Yes, Hamas must be destroyed. What they did to those 15, 1600 Israelis, every Hamas terrorist must be assassinated because of what they did on, on October 7th. I have no problem with that. My problem, Pastor Sam, is instead of sending in black op assassins to take out specific targets of, of Hamas, you just bomb the Gaza Strip because of your bloodlust. PayPal.me, listen, we need your financial help. We got our upcoming pilot in March of 2024 called the Global Masterclass Television Show here in Los Angeles. We're going to be dealing with people's pain and trauma. Um, pain is a constriction within one's mental capacity that keeps them from discovering the authentic self. That's pain. Trauma is not what happens to you. Trauma is what happens inside you as a result of what happened to you. That's trauma. So we need your financial help. Plant the Lord's tithe and also plant a financial offering. Now, don't tell me what well, the Lord told me. I got to go and buy this stock. You're lying, okay? See, a lot of people are in the bleachers clapping, but they don't want to give, okay? Don't lie to the bishop telling me you got to do this. Don't lie. It is better for you not to give than for you to lie, okay? To God and to the bishop second, okay? Listen, um, yes, we've heard of, 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 of a man 
okay, named after Brisbane, and we will definitely talk about that, Pastor Wally, in another class. Please, paypal.me for slash GSR Media Group. The Palestinians, Pastor Jeff, are living under apartheid. The apartheid is not coming from the Israeli people. I want you to know that. It's not coming from everyday Israeli citizens. This occupational brutality, apartheid, comes from the Netanyahu regime, the Mossad called Zionism. It is brutal. It is a, a system of butchery. That must be stopped. PayPal.me for slash GSR Armenia Group. Listen, take this or your finger, whether you have a desktop, laptop, um, Chrome tablet, Apple tablet, uh, Apple Watch, Android, or iPhone. You don't need a PayPal account. Just click on the PayPal account right now, okay? Don't be like those who just leave when it comes to planting the Lord's side. It's not your money. It's God's money. So plant the Lord's side. Your, your, your gross is 3000 The Lord's tithe is 300 If you're gross, if you're blessed to make 5000 a week, your, the Lord's tithe is 500 Whatever your, your gross is, pay the full 10% uh, of the gross before Uncle Sam takes that out. And in the same uh, transaction, plant $150 or more today. You should be like popcorn last Pastor Colleen says, okay? $150, $200, $253, $354, $500. of you give 1000 okay? You're, you're multimillionaires or you're close to it. And what you and I have been going through, and listen, it has not put a dent in your finances, Plant the Lord's tithe and in the same transaction for three people, plant a thousand dollars. Go to paypal.me forward slash GSR Media Group. Paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. When you give unto the Lord, He'll give you more to give. Good measure, press down, shaking together, and running over. God says He'll give you double for your trouble, triple for your pain. God will take care of you. Trust me, I know God will take care of you, okay? PayPal.me for slash GSRR Media Group. Also, um, you can go to our cash app. And Pastor Colleen and the rest of the moderators, please put up our cash app. And I will we'll definitely put that up right now myself. Uh, our cash app, ladies and gentlemen, is dollar sign, then global revolution then the number one okay global revolution then the number one global revolution is all uh, all capitalized uppercase letters that's our cash app you can also send your checks and money orders uh in care of larry gators p.o box 161 lomita california it's right under pastor colleen's name P.O. Box 161, Lomita, California, 90717. Please send the Lord's tithe and in the same transaction, whether it's PayPal or Cash App or check and money order, put also on that same check or money order uh, $200, $300, okay? Please do that right now, uh, either through PayPal.me for slash GSR or Media Group or the Cash App. Our cash app is dollar sign global revolution one dollar sign then global revolution one global revolution is an all upper cap letters okay or uh larry gators p.o box 161 lomina california 90717 but the rest of you the rest of you go to paypal right now okay listen don't give god scraps okay we had someone, a lawyer being cute, sent the ministry a quarter about three months ago, okay? He was recently arrested for running a prostitution ring in his law office, okay? And involved in pedophilia. You see, you reap what you sow, okay? PayPal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. 
after you click on the PayPal link, after you click on the PayPal link, then click send, plant the Lord's tithe, and also plant $150 or more. God will not be mocked. Thank you, Pastor Sam. Also, our cash app. Thank you, Pastor uh, Ellis Ewing. Is dollar sign uh, Global Revolution One dollar sign then Global Revolution One. Also, uh, Bishop Larry Gators, PO Box One Sixty One, Lomita, California Nine Zero Seven One Seven. But the rest of you, the rest of you, go to PayPal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. After you click on the PayPal link. Click send, plant both the Lord's time, and in the same transaction on PayPal or Cash App, okay, or checks and money orders, place $150 or more offering. I thank God for all of you giving. Thank God. And also, I thank God for Pastor Chris Harris, one of our faithful pastors who gives every week, okay? Thank you so much. Take care. Take care, Pastor Chris. We know it's late there on the East Coast. We love you guys. We honor every one of you. Praise God. Uh, Bishop God willing, I'll be going to the Super Bowl at Reliance Stadium in Vegas in February. Um, uh, our nationally syndicated radio show, Global Spiritual Revolution Radio, will be there in a part of Radio Row. Uh, and we're going to be interviewing a lot of people, okay, including a lot of well-known pastors. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Great to see you, Pastor Glenn. I'll see you guys on next Tuesday for a brand new series, okay? And we are ending this short series uh, of a two-volume, two-module, two-volume series of Operation Mockingbird, How to Kill a Mockingbird, and I thank you. Good night from Los Angeles. Keep the bishop in your prayers, okay? We got two major projects coming this um, spring in March of 2024 on nationally syndicated television show called The Global Masterclass. We're going to be helping people, especially here in Hollywood, deal with their pain and trauma. We're going to be inviting clinical psychologists, clinical psychiatrists from all over the world in person and also through Zoom. Praise God. And also we're going to be launching the Global Movement Studios, LLC. Again, the Global Movement Studios, LLC, for the distribution of apostolic Christ-centered apostolic films, short films. And if you're a writer or a director or a, uh, executive producer, uh, if you want to be a part of the Global Movement Studios, LLC, Text us your information at 917-736-5946, 917-736-5946. And also this Saturday, uh, the bishop and some of my staff members in New York will be doing um, some counseling as well. And uh, so if you need counseling for this Wednesday, for now two of you who were scheduled last Saturday, you, you'll be scheduled this Saturday. I'll, I would definitely call two of the um, pastors, a part of our ministry, who needs counseling. If you need counseling, please text message us right now at 917-736-5946. Okay? That's 917 917- Seven, three, six, five, nine, four, six. Okay. Text us right now, and we will set up a counseling session for you. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. Well, I thank God for Pastor Colleen and for all you guys. Okay, it's a hundred dollars for the first hour and fifty dollars every hour after that. Well, bitch, if that costs too much, you're paying thousands of dollars to the system. Okay. Uh, bless you, Bishop. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm telling you, I thank God and pray for my safety. I'm constantly, I don't tell you guys this, but I'm constantly, um, when I'm in New York or here, uh, I have a security detail whose names and pictures 
They don't want to be revealed because if we reveal who they are, then they become a target as well. And we have to use wisdom. But my life is always being threatened, not just here in Los Angeles, but in New York City and around the world. Keep me in your prayers, okay? Dwight Howells was exposed with the homosexual. What? And he admitted to, oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, oh. there was a baseball pitcher years ago, Pastor uh, Sam, named David Stewart, Dave Stewart, an African-American pitcher. He was a pitcher for the Oakland A's. And he had slept what he thought was a female prostitute, but was with a transvestite. Oh, Lord have mercy. Dwight Howard. Oh. And the brother, um, Pastor Sam, who played on New York Undercover. What's his name? The African-American actor. I can't remember his name. Bald-headed black brother. Uh, I, I'm told that he's dating, either dating or married to... Um, a transvestite, uh, not Eddie Murphy, uh, but the brother who played on. You guys remember the um, a TV show uh, called New York Undercover that came out in the nineties. Um, we link yogurt. <laughs> you see, oh, oh, Pastor Wally P said Malik yogurt. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Woo, you guys are powerful patriots. Mal Malik Yoba. Thank you, Pastor Ellis Ewing. Malik Yogurt, yo, Yoba, was either dating a, a, you know, a transvestite or married to one. You see, they love being butt broken, okay? Oh, this iPhone is dumb. Look at it. <laughs> God bless you. PayPal.me forward slash GSR Media Group. You remember Dave Stewart, Pastor Rick? Oh, my God. Something happened uh, with James Worthy of the Los Angeles Lakers. It happened to him as well when he was, the Lakers were on the road against the Houston Rockets. Oh, I think it was in the late 80s, early 90s. Please, we need your financial help. God told me, I'm not going to beg you because I don't want, listen, but if you want to be cursed, you can be cursed. But God told me, Bishop, don't beg them, Okay. Because, listen, you do not want God's judgment to come upon you. Now, I'm not, I'm not these television uh, teachers, okay? Oh, if you don't give a, me a million dollars, God, no, stop. I'm not that. But the book of the prophet Malachi, will a man or a woman rob God? Will a man or a woman rob God? How have you robbed me through tithes and offerings? God bless you. Woo, Pastor, I see he was talking to Gil. Look at that. Lord have mercy. Have a blessed weekend, everyone. Thank you, Pastor Colleen and all the students of Christ. I wanted to go short tonight. God bless you. You guys have a great night. I'll see you guys on next Tuesday. Uh, pray for the bishop, okay? Bless the ministry financially. We need your help. God bless you. I'm in love with every one of you. Don't think it's strange when... The man of God says he's in love with you. I love you as Christ loves you. Good night from, from Los Angeles. Bishop, that guy from M. Maine is dead. Oh, what's his name? M. Maine is dead. And there, there was another, there was a Caucasian young singer, Pastor Colleen, that died a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember his name. Young Caucasian singer, uh, a, a white brother, Okay. Card, was it card? Pastor Walk, you see, do you remember the prophecy? I'll let you go. A year ago, actually going back two years, that the deep state would take our actors and actresses, okay, musicians, it's coming to pass. God bless you. Have a great weekend, okay? Okay, have a great, great weekend. I'll see you guys. Listen, now don't come in here with, with garbage now. You see people who, who come in here, Okay, don't 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 do that. Don't don't come in here. Listen, uh, with your garbage. Don't do that. Okay, because we run a tight apostolic ship. Don't come in here with your garbage. Okay, plant the Lord's time and plant your financial uh, best offering of one hundred fifty dollars or more. We love you. God bless you. It's card the single card. Thank you, Pastor Wally Tech. 
I won't forget. Richard Roundtree died? Oh, really? I didn't know that. Richard Roundtree died. Wow, I did not know that. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Well, God bless you, everyone. I'll see you guys on next Tuesday. Great. Have a great night. And I'm going to get my soup, my organic soup with no meat. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. And if you guys got any series that you, you think the bishop should be teaching, let it, let me know, okay? Send, uh, write to me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, Twitter, or X. Good night. PayPal done. Thank you, Pastor Catherine. Thank you for your obedience. Thank you, Pastor Catherine. Love every one of you. Keep sending me those videos too. Instagram, because see, you're teaching the bishop. Love you, Pastor Ali Sevendetto. Good night, okay? Operational London Bridge. I might, I might have to go back to that next week, Pastor Sam, okay? I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Have a great weekend in Christ. Keep the man of God, keep the apostle in your prayers. Thank you. Good night from Los Angeles. I love every one of you. Thank you so much.